I have a duty to announce and ask the Holy Spirit to confirm these sayings. Be prepared, all the governments of the earth. Save plenty of water and non-perishable foods. God said, Get ready to receive the Holy One of Israel, but under chastisement. This year the judgment will fall. Jehovah God will touch the earth with His feet at two in the morning. The Word of God says in Revelation 3.10, because you have kept my command to persevere, I also will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. We will go through a great breaking, and after this grief will be born a new church that the Lord shall snatch away to heaven. These events will awaken the church of Christ on earth. This judgment, even if others differ, is due to the church, both here in Puerto Rico as in the rest of the world. The church today left aside all the principles for which Jesus died on the cross, principles that would allow us to see him and the Father. It all comes down to holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. People say, today may be the rapture of the church. At present, if the Lord came to look for his church right now, he would find very, very few true Christian candidates to go to heaven with him. The rapture will come after the events that are approaching. Then there will be the great worldwide soul harvest, of which the Holy Spirit has spoken for many years. If the God of heaven did not do this, many would be lost, possibly even the righteous. People also say that these events will be part of the great tribulation. No, these events are part of the beginning of sorrows of which the Bible speaks. It is the brokenness needed before the renewed church of Christ can rise in the entire world. The Great Tribulation will come after these events and after the rapture of the Church of Christ. Those congregations which seek holiness and the true word have minimal attendance, but people flock to where prosperity and an empty gospel is preached. This displeases God. The television channels broadcast all sorts of aberrations. All spiritual prostitution is shown here. This station broadcasted a pastor dancing with nearly nude dancers. On television, the Lord's message has been practically erased. Pastors like Antonio Bolaines and David Diamond still fight for the cause of Jesus. Among many apostates, we have Benny Hinn and Billy Graham. Many evangelists, pastors and apostles will be killed by members of their churches that are not true believers and will take justice into their hands because they were deceived with prosperity, they will have to face tremendous scarcity. When they see the event, they will realize that they failed the Lord, and although they repent, they will not enter, because the Lord does not forget, much less when they despise the sacrifice of Jesus. Most churches that do not pass the test have been discarded. Jehovah does not want them anymore. They have been spewed out of the Lord's mouth. Our Lord Jesus comes with his book that night to claim before Jehovah countless souls who will lose their earthly lives during this event. He will take them to heaven. Others will die but will not go with Christ, including many pastors. Gay marriage covers the entire earth. The church remained silent. Pastors did not speak. By doing this, they supported the changes. They do not help homosexuals. They are human, and we should be compassionate towards them, but they have distorted the commandment that God gave us. With their behavior, all generations would end because there would be no procreation. In China, cannibals eat babies. In South America, human flesh is sold. In Oklahoma, a satanic statue depicting children praying side by side to the monster from hell and lobbying for authorization for it to be placed there. They passed laws allowing the murder of innocent unborn babies. Priests offer in satanic sacrifice newborn babies, men, women, and animals. Fashion shows at the Church of Prosperity, adultery, fornication, and all kinds of sin in the churches. Puerto Rico will be the epicenter of Jehovah's wrath. The island is polluted with sin. Adulterers parade in churches. Pastors just want tithes and offerings. They no longer want and have expelled the presence of the Holy Spirit from the holy place. They say they cannot tell this to the people to avoid a panic, and they come up with the commonplace excuse that God is love and he cannot do this. They seem to forget the consuming fire that killed the generation of Noah, 
Sodom and Gomorrah, and the announcement of destruction by Jonah to Nineveh. From this island of Puerto Rico, the gospel spread to almost all nations. It has a score to settle with the Holy One of Israel. There will be a full moon when judgment falls in Puerto Rico. God showed me a large rock, an asteroid, entering the airspace of the town of Arecibo and exiting Mayagüez, heading to the ocean. This will be during the 2 a.m. time frame. This rock will be impacting in the sea between the island of Mona and Mayagüez. It will hit an active earthquake fault found in that area of the Caribbean, causing a very strong 12-point earthquake that has never been seen. 12 degrees means the presence of God on the earth. The impact will raise a giant wave over a thousand feet high, which will be entering the west part of the island immediately, reaching places never thought of on this earth the water reaching the municipalities of Las Marias and Maricao, where satanic constantly sacrifice newborn babies throughout the year in Puerto Rico. For many, there will be no time to escape the impact. Prepare at home with the Lord. Ask the Holy Spirit now what His plans are for you that night. Some will be asked to move, others to stay. Many will leave with the Lord Jesus that night. Some will have one last minute to ask the Lord for forgiveness for not having believed His warning. The impact of the asteroid will be identical to a nuclear explosion. The priority of this message is God's judgment for His pastors and apostate church across the island of Puerto Rico. The giant wave will affect the Caribbean islands, Santo Domingo, Haiti, Jamaica, Cuba, and all the islands. There will be millions of dead that night. The wave will be arriving in Miami at 5 in the morning and then will continue its course upwards, sweeping the entire east coast of the United States and onwards to the Gulf of Mexico and South America. To the Church of the Lord in Puerto Rico I say, from the Lord, that we will not run until and if the Lord's Holy Spirit tells us to leave our homes. Most pastors in Puerto Rico will suffer the fate of Korah in the Bible. While the great earthquake is at its peak, the earth will open up and swallow them wherever they are standing, and will be taken alive to hell. They are responsible for this judgment. Their replacements are ready. There will be a new remnant of pastors. Because of failing to defend the mandates of Jesus and His sacrifice on the cross, God will do the same to them as He did with previous generations. The anointing of our homes and property does not guarantee that the judgment will not touch our material possession. Get rid of any idols, images, or unholy objects at home. The Lord deals with people, with souls. Many want to secure their property more than their own lives. The Lord will save first whomever loves Him, then our properties. Faced with the possible loss of material possessions on all the island, the inhabitants reflect great distress because of what is prophesied. But the Lord tells them that He wishes to save people, souls, based on the spiritual condition of their lives, a life of sin or a life of holiness before Him. Holiness is the only guarantee so that the Lord will deliver us from this judgment and the properties that He has given us. Christian people of Puerto Rico, remember that the Lord wants that before this trial comes, all who have gone astray return to Him as soon as possible, urgently, run to His feet. Please do not think twice. Run, because you will have no excuse before the Lord. It is a call with tears from the Most High God, because a multitude of backslidden people will die on that terrible night. Also, a multitude of those within the churches will die, and those who are living in the same condition around the churches. Why are the pastors and churches not going after them to bring them back to the Lord? All this is because of the rebellion against the standards of holiness of our Lord. Mexico is part of this trial. It will be affected at 5.30 in the morning along with Texas. All is said and approved in Mexico. Most of the people are not Christians, but many Christians will come from there after the event. Mexico bends its knees to statues, drugs, sorcerers, and all kinds of sin. The Lord will break the nation. There will be more than 2 million dead people there. Throughout Latin America, about 30 million people will die. All nations are alert and there are talks under the table to transport the presidents and governors to safe places. They do not say anything to the people, but the people who are with Jesus will receive notice. In our homes there is a hedge of angels. 
countless angels are already on earth. The Lord knows that these events require a lot of protection for His people. There's a people that require safekeeping, and they are Jesus' people. Such is the commitment of heaven toward them. God will keep our families if we are bound to Him. The pastors that have been preaching and deceiving the flock with the gospel of wealth and prosperity will see scarcity like never before. The wave will come to Latin American countries. When you see the giant waves, you will know that it is the hand of God that comes to stop evil and cleanse the earth. Guatemala has disobeyed the Holy God. They disapprove of the order of Jehovah. The president is preparing to sign mandates against God's precepts. They consult with warlocks, with everybody except with God. There is not a Joseph in the land, no evangelists, no pastors who make a difference in that nation. So the politicians sign these laws because there is no opposition. In Nicaragua, the president has resisted but is being pressured by the National Assembly to pass laws in favor of the sodomite behavior. These laws hurt people, forcing pastors to give up their posts, like in Arizona, where this law was passed and a pastor refused to marry people of the same sex. Any country that cancels the statutes of the law of God and His Word will never prosper. Nobody mocks Jehovah God, not before, not now, not ever. Every design of Jehovah cannot be stopped by hell. This has to happen to awaken the Church of Christ on earth. Not much time is left. Prepare in South America and Central America. Churches, bend your knees, pray, ask for signs from heaven. In Honduras they sign laws in favor of this sodomite agenda and despite the principles of Jehovah. It is very sad that they will be struck. Many people will die that night. All polluted countries, El Salvador, they consult with warlocks instead of consulting with the Lord. Costa Rica, Masonic president, they made a covenant with hell. They were named under the word of God, but they said no to the word. Obama climbed on the altars of this nation and shouted, Hallelujah! They have a hidden agenda against the church. Jehovah will cut short their intentions. Many pastors will die, killed. Priests with Masonic symbolism working for Satan. The Cardinals have an agenda for the government of the Antichrist. The Antichrist is ready but will not be revealed until the Church of Christ leaves the earth in the rapture. Panama. The sea will cross from side to side. The Caribbean water will reach the Pacific. Many people will die. There is a flock serving the Lord there. They will have the protection of heaven. Belize. The queen who governs approves the sodomite flag, as in England, as well as laws against the commandments of God. They made an atheist book approved by the government. They allow homosexuals to marry. This is the sodomite agenda on earth at its fullest. Venezuela, a country that God separated to help Puerto Rico during the scarcity following this event. Its president consults warlocks all the time, hence the reason for the problems they are having now. The Lord will take care of this nation, and even though the giant waves may arrive there, have no fear, flock of God, because God will be with you. Santo Domingo will see four million dead or more. Its president sent 25 million extra body bags to all coastal estates. Embassies and area government moved them to high places. French Guiana follows the same agenda. They will be affected because they have sold the land for money. Brazil has signed many laws against Jehovah. They will never prosper. This nation is not of Jehovah. Argentina. Its president soon will know the holy God when the Lord begins to enter all her shores. When the stench begins to whip the whole nation, they will know that they have infuriated the Holy One, Jesus Christ. Chile. The Church of Christ has much fear for the laws that their president is signing. Most of the population there are Catholics who disobey the word. Its president approves the sodomite law against God. Uruguay. Its president consults warlocks. They help him. Many people will also die there. In Paraguay, also many people will die. Bolivia. Its president kneels before all things. Bolivia will be affected by the pestilence. Many people will die. Peru also will be affected all is already stipulated. All conspire to offend God. Ecuador. 
All done under the table. Small groups won for now. Canada. The wave will hit the coast. It will also be affected with all the judgments. They approve their flag with the rainbow, which is meant to be a symbol of God's covenant with the earth, not the gay agenda. Spain. Already many things are approved there. Lots of laws approving aberrations were signed there. They will be affected by day. Portugal too. England has astounding accounts with the Lord Jehovah. They made the atheist book there. They approved Sodomites' laws. Holland. Very large aberrations in this country. They have tried to evangelize it, but cannot. It will also be affected. The American nation will be shaken by an earthquake of 12 degrees. At 5 a.m. will begin the giant wave sweep on U.S. soil, with waves 500 feet high across the east area of this nation. There will be a shock wave that will be felt as hurricane winds, very strong and without rain, until the tsunami hits. The wind will arrive first, then the wave. Many will be moved to safe places. Ask the Holy Spirit. This nation belongs to Jesus Christ and will return to Him. All the rivers will overflow due to the sea level rising and having no outlets into the ocean. Many will die from this. In the central part of the U.S., storage and protection sites have been built by millionaires and FEMA, where there are underground cities so they can attempt to survive these events. You can buy one of those storage rooms from $65,000. They are preparing spacecrafts to receive and destroy the asteroid upon arrival to Earth. Also, Obama sent about 40 missiles to Puerto Rico to try to destroy the asteroid in the sky so that it may fall on Puerto Rico and not at sea. The prophet of God, Ephraim, warned them not to press the buttons. Do not do it, he said. Do not interfere with the plans of the Lord. They made a big mistake in the Mona Island area west of Puerto Rico, where the asteroid will impact. There is an unstable and dangerous earthquake fault there. They tried to seal this fault with nuclear devices, supposedly to prevent an earthquake. They planted the device but lost it down the trench. Now they cannot find it. Nobody can stop the plans of Jehovah. U.S. officials hide much information. Others, like the Russians, warn people of the U.S. to stay away from the coasts. When the asteroid hits, we will feel the shockwave as a very strong wind. Ask the Holy Spirit where to move. Stay away from sin so you can hear Him. Over 35 million deaths are expected in the U.S. and the authorities remain silent. Many, if not all of the great evangelists and pastors in this country have said nothing. They have thus supported the changes. Many of them, along with politicians, artists, Hollywood personalities, etc., are in agreement with Obama. They receive large amounts of money. Those who have not said anything have allowed this, knowing that these laws are against God's commandments. They are a slap in His face and a direct and blatant defiance to the Lord of Heaven. They will have their sentence. Politicians have deceived the nation because there is no presence of the Holy Spirit in most churches. The judgment of the United States will come because pastors and evangelists keep silent. Jehovah God will pass judgment upon this nation. Obama has to answer to the Lord. He has offended him in every way. He told God that men can marry men and women can marry women, which is against God's commandment in the book of Genesis. The species entered the ark as male and female. Otherwise, there would be no species today. All places in the nation where these aberrations are practiced will be a All laws signed indicate that he plans to persecute the Lord's church. Woe to those who try to hurt the church of God. He does not penalize homosexuals or Muslims, for example. He does not care what they do, but he takes all actions to punish and extinguish the church of Christ. He removes and denies freedoms to Christians, while at the same time gives freedom to those who blaspheme God. Even Putin, the Russian president, rebuked him for this. Woe to you, you poor, poor man! You have violated all the laws of God. You have made this nation go astray. You will be all safe and cozy inside your bunker, while millions of people die up above on the earth. Obama has asked Congress to give all power to him, to take full control during this emergency. This means that there will be no elections. 
this totalitarian power is a serious danger. This message must be sent to all members of Congress. You still have time to revoke this absolute power. Politicians, revoke this power given to him. You have no idea what you will face. This president is the most responsible for the judgment coming upon this nation. He wanted to exclude the law of God. He signed laws never before signed. He has no respect for the Church of Christ. However, the Church of Christ cannot be touched. Like Israel, they are the apple of God's eye. Obama wants Israel to give up their land. Israel will not. What they have conquered belongs to them. Even if U.S. troops or whosoever surround Israel, that land is untouchable. They are the chosen people of God, with whom he has an everlasting covenant. Israel is ready to build their temple. They have to wait as long as the Muslim Mosque of Omar is there. They will have to wait for the earthquake to do the work. This is the message of the Lord to you, President Obama. Respect the nation. Respect the Church of Christ. Respect the people of God. Respect Israel. This event of this message will come to pass. And yes, you will respect God. The whole nation will respect God. Judges are required to pass laws allowing things forbidden in the Word of God. Christians cannot speak about Christ in the workplace or in the military, or they are penalized. Prayer has been removed from our schools. A video shows how unwanted newborn babies in this country are mercilessly killed right after birth. Workers in the stock market are advised that the stock market soon will fall due to a large event to occur on earth. They are told that the name of the U.S. will change. It is estimated that the entire stock market will be concentrated in Europe in the future, as it is prophesied in the Word. It will be the common market. In New York, they are drafting a law that forces people who do not accept gays to be removed out of the city. Two cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, were destroyed in the past because they opposed the standards established by God. America is following their footsteps. Thousands of foreign soldiers are assigned in Puerto Rico troops from Russia, China, Germany, and France. They were transported in sealed trucks during the early hours of the morning to the mountains for help during the disaster. They are intended to protect someone. In Alaska, USA, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico, more than 15,000 foreign troops in the entire nation. For what, I ask? They have been supplied with a huge quantity of ammunition. Many bunkers have been built there. The Lord has control over the mountains, and His judgment will reach everywhere, even inside the bunkers. Everything is ready. We await the asteroid impact, and for everything else to be fulfilled before our eyes. The United States prepares for 15 months of scarcity and national emergency. Millions of boxes of dry food and other resources are stored in the middle of the nation. Civil war will break out due to lack of food and resources. Martial law will be implemented because of the need to maintain control. Vehicles have been modified in the U.S. for military purposes. Soldiers even trained to kill their own family. President Obama already has the guillotine for the Church of Christ. There are 30,000 guillotines in the nation. They say that they have them for prisoners who are condemned to die, and they will cut off their heads instead of killing them with lethal injections or gas, so they can use their bodies and organs for people who need them. That's their excuse. They also have thousands of boxes, coffins, for people who will die in the events of the trial. There are boxes that can contain three bodies each. There are FEMA camps with incinerators to burn people. This will be used for those who are left behind in the Great Tribulation and resist the government of the Antichrist. His plans to mark the Church of God will be thwarted by this event. Do not let them mark you with the chip out of necessity or obligation, nor by power. Stand in the protection of God's promise. Nobody will mark the Church of Christ. We belong to God. What will happen will be similar as to when Noah built the ark. The Lord said in seven days it all will be finished, and now within seven months so will this event happen. In three months there will be events that serve as evidence that this prophecy will be fulfilled. Jehovah will cleanse the house for our Lord Jesus to take His true church. As in Ezekiel chapter 34, God will ask the pastors, What have you done with my sheep, and where have you sent them? There will be three days of darkness in the Americas. In Europe, it will be the opposite. People will kneel before the Lord God during the plague that will follow this event. The current leaders will be replaced. Pestilence will remove leaders who sold the supreme law of God. 
there will emerge a new nation as it prepares for the rapture of the church. The pain and anguish will make everyone bend their knees before a holy God, acknowledging His supremacy. They will make a change in their lives because they know that the Lord's return is near. New leaders will emerge, along with a new, renewed church and a new nation, which will honor the God of heavens. They will change the laws again for a while, until God takes His church in the rapture, which will occur before the Great Tribulation. The fall of the asteroid is the first phase of this judgment. The second will be the shock wave on these places. Immediately the earthquake of 12 degrees, the tsunami, the three days of darkness, and the sixth will be the outbreak of a great pestilence. This will be the worst of the six events. It will be a result of the decomposition of bodies floating on water and left unburied. Everybody will be affected in different days and times. No matter how many medications are stored, Jehovah God will bring this nation back to his feet through this punishment. God will move the entire continent in a way that has never been seen. The earth will not be obliterated. He will be in complete control. Time is up. Get ready to receive the events and judgments of God. Prepare. There will be over 70 million people dead just on this continent. The game of pretending to be a Christian is over. Be one. No more games with the Lord. Wherever you go, give testimony as a Christian and watchman. Brothers and watchmen, go out and rescue souls before, during, and after these events. Be active watchmen. Sound the alarm. It is your responsibility. Point to the safe place, our ark, our refuge and strength, Jesus Christ. If faced with no way out during the event, due to your unbelief, the entire group of people hug each other and deliver their souls to Jesus. You are called to bring souls to the great harvest. Keep your passports ready and updated. You will have to travel to other nations that will open their doors to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We need to spread this message. People have to know. Spread the message. Brothers, be prepared spiritually. Rectify with the Lord and with others. Forgive them. Leave behind sin and double lives. You are responsible to pray to Jehovah God for protection. Pray for your neighbors and loved ones to be protected too. The Lord promised Abraham that the just and the wicked would not die together. The same promise applies to us. If we hold to our Lord and Master Jesus Christ, with our hearts and in our behavior. May the Lord bless you.